Hi, I'm Shaking Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to look at turn meter manipulation in Dragon Champions. In a turn based game like Dragon Champions, turn meter manipulation is incredibly strong. There are two kinds of turn meter manipulation there's removal of turn meter, and there's turn meter gain to own team. I'm going to look at both of these and find the best characters, especially for turn meter removal. If we start at the top, we have Slinger. His basic removes 10% turn meter on every second hit. Not a lot, but it's consistent and it's a basic ability, so no cooldown. Next, we have Little Baddie. She also has a turn meter removal ability on her basic. This one removes 25% turn meter, 80% of the time she hits an enemy. Freeze out is next. His third ability has a cooldown of four, but starts initially, initially preloaded with two has a 75% chance to decrease turn meter by 25%. Master Duo, he's got 100% chance to remove turn meter by 30%. Robin Bad, he also has a basic ability that removes turn meter, but only on a critical hit. Foul has her second ability with a cooldown of three starts preloaded with two turns where critical hits decrease enemy turn meter by 20 percent this hits the primary target and two random enemies so not just one but on a boss fight it doesn't matter hilda is the last one her third ability comes fully uh, ready at turn 1, but after that, there's a cooldown of 4. She removes turn meter by 20% of all enemies. General Murdoch has his second ability. Starts with a 1 turn cooldown, after that it's 3 turns. And if he hits an enemy already afflicted by slow, he removes 50% turn meter. So very big, but there needs to be a slow on it. And there's a three turn cooldown. The last character isn't in the game yet, and that's Buff. His leader ability is incredibly strong. This makes every demon in his team both 30 speed faster, but also has a 33% chance on every hit to remove the turn meter of the hit enemies by 33%. So he's in a league of his own, but he isn't released yet. And he has to be the leader. But then he applies it to all the demons in the team. Those were the characters that remove turn meter. I haven't included buff, but I did make a calculation on who is the most efficient at removing turn meter to rank them. On this graph I've tried to index the different characters that remove turn meter in the T7 rate in phase 1 to 3. You can't remove turn meter in phase 4. And I didn't include buff yet because he's not in the game. I've tried to factor in the speed of each character, the chance they have to remove turn meter, their likely critical hit chance on those that need that, and their likely potency to calculate the difference between the character's turn meter removal. Fao and Hilda are more or less the same. I made Fao index 100, and then I calculated the others' efficient turn meter removal uh, accordingly. So Freeze Art is very strong at removing turn meter when you have a full team going up against them but he's not very efficient on the raid on just the boss slinger he removes turn meter on a basic 
so it should be very strong, but there's only a 50% chance to remove 10%, so that's not very much. Robin Bad has another uh, very strong basic ability, but his problem is that it's impossible to get 78.2% potency at the same time as having a very high uh, critical hit chance. So he failed a bit on that part, and that's why he's only the fourth best character at removing turn meter in the T7 raid. Little Batty is very good at potency. She has a very high natural potency, so it's easy to reach the 78.2% chance potency on her. But she lacks uh, from having a 20% chance every turn for not removing turn meter. Surprisingly enough, General Murdoch made it to second place, even though he's got his ability to remove uh, turn meter on a cooldown. But it's so strong because he removes 50% of the turn meter from the hit enemy. So that's why he gets so high on this graph, even though he's got a cooldown on his ability. But there is no one above or besides Master Duel. He's got a guaranteed turn meter removal every turn. You need him to gear 11 or have very, very good mods. Not green ones, but blue or purple to get the 78% chance uh, potency. But if you gear him up enough, that is easily achievable and he will, he will remove turn meter every single turn from the boss. And that's why he's the absolute best. The other part of turn meter manipulation is turn meter gain. And we have three characters with a leader ability that gives turn meter to their own team. We have Talan that gives 10% turn meter to all elves upon landing a critical hit, um, thus being a lot faster than normally. We have General Murdoch. He boosts the turn meter of goblins on his own team by 20%. And last, we have Slinger. His uh, turn meter gain is a bit reversed because the enemies need to make critical hits on his teammates before you gain turn meter on them. 5% for every uh, time a critical hit occurs on just one ally, all allies will recover 5% of turn meter. And if they are demons, they recover 10% instead. Then we have four characters that deal or give turn meter to the teammates. Not just one ally, but several. The worst of these is Robin Bad. He's got a four turn cooldown to apply equal to 100% turn meter. Uh, if he's got a full team. 20% turn meter to all allies, including himself. Not very good. Next is Kyra. Her ability to go invisible is on a fourth turn cooldown and it restores 25% turn meter to all allies, equal to 125%. The second best at this is Master Duo the best turn meter remover and the second best turn meter gainer for the team. He's uh, got a three turn cooldown and he uh, recover 30% of his own turn meter as well as 30% of three allies turn meter. So 120% 120 turn meter gain on a three turn cooldown. The boss of turn meter gain to own team is without a doubt Shadar, only available from the T7 raid. He's got a three turn cooldown on this ability that restores 50% of turn meter to all allies, equal to 250% turn meter gain on a three turn cooldown. This is very strong, and he's the best at this, without a doubt. Then there is three characters that give turn meter to an ally, just one ally. The worst of these are Yogi, 
He has a four turn cooldown to restore 50% turn meter to just one ally. Next one is debatable whether it is Venomate or Buff. Venomate has a four turn cooldown to restore 75% turn meter to the targeted ally. So that's quite a lot, but it's also a four turn cooldown. The last one on buff is debatable, but still. The reason being is that he swaps turn meter with ally that he targets. So potentially he can increase their turn meter by 100% while they had 0% already. But of course it will be less the more turn meter the ally he targets already have. Lastly, I have a special mention, Amara, which I showcased in my last video, where she autos P3 of the raid. She's here because she gets unlimited turn meter if there are 20 stacks of burning or poisoned or a combination of the two on enemies at the end of her turn. So she basically just goes forever where no one else can move as long as there's 20 stacks. So that's just a special bonus. She also gives this to Tanessa if she's in the same team, but she's not released in the game either yet. That was it for Terminal Manipulation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified on my next video. Have a great day.